haven't been vlogging for the past two days because uh, one of my bulldogs, uh, she's not here, but he, here's the other two, here's the other three. She's not here at the moment. Um, she's at the vet. She came down with pyometria. I'm going to be posting some graphic pictures, so I will let you know ahead of time when the graphic pictures will show up. It won't be that graphic, but you might not want to look at it. It's a deadly disease that can cause death in dogs, uh, female dogs. Loki! Loki! <laughs> Lucky for us, we caught it in time because <sighs> the help of our friend Linda, I called her up. I said, listen, Linda, this doesn't look too good. Um, she did have her period, but she's still bleeding. The, it looks a little different. Um, it smells really, really bad, and I just don't like the looks of it. Even though my bulldog, she was acting fine, like if nothing was wrong. But she, it just didn't smell right and it didn't look right. So don't second guess yourself. Get out there and go to your vet and and get some results. What happened to me is I did go to my vet and he said, well, I don't see any vaginal discharge at this moment. She's acting fine. She looks fine. Her gums are good. Her eyes are good. And I brought her home. And then I'm like, you know what? I really don't like this. I just don't like this smell. And then the the discharge was getting a different color and it smelled really bad and, and my friend Linda said get her to a vet and I brought her to a different vet I called another vet it was late at night and it was I got their service and they were gracious enough to give me a call back even though my dog has never ever been there before the doctor Dr. Esposito from Richmond Valley veterinarian practice she gave me a call she said What's on I told her the situation she goes I need to see your dog ASAP took her over did a diagnostic on her and said hey this is what we're dealing with right now what do you want to do I'm like let's get it done the doctor said you got it we got it done this doctor performed the surgery after hours kept my dog after hours um, they don't have anybody staying on Sundays overnight one of her well one of her assistants said listen i'm gonna stay with the dog overnight make sure everything goes okay the assistant stayed overnight with my with my baby girl and she made it through the surgery okay she was walking around so they're giving me reports that she's doing well but the doctor's gonna call me around 4 30 make sure she, you know it was a 24-hour stay and tell me what time i can pick up my little girl I do miss her, like the pack misses her, so hopefully everything will come out right. Like I said, I'm going to explain pyometria and then I will be posting a, um, some images on the YouTube on this vlog and it, it'll be a little graphic so you might not want to see it and if you have like you're squeamish about that, you might want to turn it away or fast forward, okay? Pyometria occurs when an intact female's uterus fills with pus. This infection will become life-threatening if left untreated. There are two types of pyometria, closed and open pyometria. This distinction is based on whether the pus is draining out to the exterior or not. If closed, the cervix is sealed and the course of the illness is shorter and more severe. If open, the drainage of the pus helps keep the toxin load down but pooling of the pus may still occur, so the pet will gradually worsen. Good news, we got the word to go pick up our little Bessie. So we are on our way to pick up, pick up me Messy Bessie.
Here's some signs you should look for. Dehydration, increased thirst and urination, lethargic, fever, weight loss, vomiting and diarrhea, loss of appetite, shortage of red blood cells, bloated belly. Now, my bulldog did not experience any of these signs. She just had an odor in her vaginal discharge. Before we head home. Actually, we made a little pit stop to a supermarket to make some dinner because we are starving. The little snorkeler is in the back. She is still out of it. We can't wait to get her home. Next three to five days, I have to be home with her, make sure everything is okay. No blood is coming out. Um, I have to monitor her closely, but uh, she'll be sleeping in my office. Uh, where it's nice and quiet and I do most of my work in there anyway so she's gonna be with me underneath my feet just relaxing for like two weeks right mama I hear her snorkeling she hears me so can't wait to get her home and until then make sure you be true to one another uh, when in doubt always get a second opinion Take care of the ones you love because they take care of you. You only have that one life to live, so live it. Peace. Bessie, you're a good girl, Mama. I'm back home. Back home, Bessie. Yay. Look at the little tail. Back home, Bess. Yay. Back home, Mama. Back home, Bessie. Oh. What's Dad doing? He's got to give me a treat. He's got to give me a treat. Got to give me a treat, Dad. That was good. That was real good. Hey, Dad. No, oh, she almost took your finger off. Give me a couple, Mama. That's it. There you go. Four tricks. You gonna say that little man? All right, she's back home. She's doing well. She's pretty hungry, so we're gonna feed her. Remember what I said, people? Be good to each other. You only have that one life to live. Live it. 